Monday, August 10th. It's the program. Uh, the year is 2020. In case anyone's forgot, time just, just things just seem to fly by these days. Um, today it's just uh, me and the Victrix, ladies and gentlemen. Um, How we doing, Rob? Well, not too bad. Not too bad. Thing. I mean, considering all things considered. How about yourself, Victor? You know, I'm getting by. You know, mm -hmm. I'm getting by, Rob. Not much else we could hope for. I mean. What else can well, you do we're during able, COVID We're able to do the show, so. Uh, Is there anything you know, else to do? There's during... a million things. Yeah, but I mean, not much we can do. Like, I, I feel like I had some plans. I had some things going on, and because of COVID, I can't uh, do it. I mean, because of government is what I mean. That's uh, very possible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like you have uh, probably a uh, piping hot coffee there, Victor. I think a... You know, I do appreciate the uh, coffee, sir. Yeah. yeah well, it the works coffee. for most people. Most people do. I appreciate my coffee, too. Um, glad, glad to oblige, Victor. Affirmative. So, uh, <sighs> did you see Trump's uh, emergency uh, press conference today? I caught the the pieces floating around on Twitter after uh, I heard from uh, Mr. Anonymous about the uh, him being rushed off the uh, out of the briefing room by the Secret Service. He was, um, you know, this is at the White House, and uh, basically, you know, it's funny because it Trump said on Facebook, you know, tune in at five thirty. It's going to be a good press conference, you know. Yeah. And we had some fireworks there. I mean, you know, basically, somebody, the Secret Service, had to shoot somebody outside the White House. That you know, obviously, they were doing something. Well, you see, know, that's all I know. No good. They were up to no good, Rob. Do you have any further details on that? Because that's about all I know. Is just somebody. Well, that's all Trump told the the press. They kept asking questions. Gotcha, but nothing's um, floating around. You you guys seem more connected to this well, lately than I, I do. Well, I haven't. Um, I haven't been. I haven't checked on it. Yeah, uh, since, no, you know, right. since it was live, and that was three hours ago. Has it been three hours already? Well, look, let's. There's a guy that was. They won't say, but they had to take him down by by shooting him. So he must have had a weapon as well. So do we do we know how close he got or anything? Was he on White he House? Was right property? outside, right outside the White House. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, because Dan Bongino. Uh, former Secret Service agent of 12 years, uh, he said he's never seen anything like that before. He uh, tweeted that. Also, take note that Trump came right back out when the coast was clear. Yeah. And did the press conference like he wasn't even shaken. Okay. And they were asking him all these questions. He was cool and calm with swag. And uh, the one lady said, are you... Um, Oh, I forget exactly how she worded it. Something like it. that. Are you shaking up? Were you? Are you? Yeah, she said. Are Are you? you know, uh, I can pull that uh, up geez. for you real quick here. Yeah, it was and, something and, that uh, Mr. Anonymous sent us. Oh, shaken. Yeah, shaken. And, uh, were you rattled? Were you rattled oh, by this at all, rattled? Mr. President? Do I seem rattled? <laughs> he says. He says in that uh, in that New York That's swagger. Yeah. He says, "Do I look sweat? Do I look shaken?" Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could do the Trump. I can't. I can hardly imitate or or, or uh, what's the better word for imitate? Uh, impersonate. Duplicate. Impersonate. Yeah, I can hardly impersonate anyone. I really wish I could do Trump. There's this one thing floating around on uh, Twitter about a year ago now. It seems this one one dude doing the best Trump impersonation I've ever heard in my life. Anyway, you do really good impersonations, Victrix. Um, I'm jealous uh, sometimes yeah, I think that you get them spot on most of the times, at least the ones that you attempt. So, um, what do you think about? Um, did you know that that uh, statue in Sarasota is coming down? What do they call that one? The uh, well, I don't think it's a hundred percent. They're just talking about it because apparently there's a few people in the neighborhoods around there that are triggered. Yeah, by that statue, and I, I can't really see what the problem is no well that's because there is no problem and you and i are reasonable rational people and we don't see these things that are imaginary i mean these people must be schizophrenics or something they see problems where none exist it's like seeing 
It's like that movie, A Beautiful Mind, except it's not very beautiful at all. It's kind of dystopian and horrifying, actually. Yeah, I, I honestly... Did you, you ever know, see that movie? Come Again. Did you ever see that movie, A Beautiful Mind, with uh, uh, Russell Crowe, The Gladiator? You know, I probably... You know, I've seen no, a bunch of Russell good. Crow Russell right. Crow movies. I don't know. I don't recall at this instant. Yeah. Um yeah, it's it's old. It's been a it's been a while now. You know it's been a while now. The fact that it's hit in Sarasota, there's a uh I was coming home from work today up in Sarasota, mm -hmm. driving back south here to the wood. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and as I hit Laurel Road, there was a girl with a mask on with a BLM shirt. Uh, holding a BLM sign with her fist up like this, uh -huh. with her head, you know, yeah. eyes shut, head down, and she just sits in this intersection illegally. Wait, wait, wait! She's in the uh, street. She's in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the intersection in traffic. You mean? Yeah, in traffic, not in the middle of the intersection on one of the the little concrete barriers there in the oh, middle. She's of on the, the road. she's on the median. She's out of the f direct flow of cars she's not blocking traffic she's not on the she's not but she's not no one's supposed to be standing there that's where panhandlers stand yeah that's where people beg for money yeah and you know no, you know no coincidence there's a blmer out there you know with no because uh. you know the trumpers even the bideners set up in that area but they're on the sidewalk okay and this chick's out there but anyways it's just that's not what I want to see coming home from work. Some misled girl that's misinformed and has misinformation on that organization. Yeah. Uh, bacon, bacon, lettuce, and mayonnaise sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Uh, BLM. I wonder if they're serving anything like that anywhere. Do well, you think that they maybe would? Maybe the Tampa Bay Rays are donating a little too much money, and it's starting to hit the surrounding areas. They're just pumping the money in. These, these young kids are eating it up. They have no clue what the hell is even going on. Yeah, why do you suppose they do that? Why do you suppose they're all so quick to why – do, why do they want that um, – that, uh, what, the, what, the, what are they doing? Why? Why, why do they they're want – They're misled. But what it is it about the from popularity? The you know, this could be something to do with cell phones. And I think I was wondering that the other day. Cell phones, you know, social media, Facebook. I wonder if I wonder if, you know, because the primary everybody thing I, knows too much, too fast. Uh, there's too much communication. Kids, you got kids living adult lives, you know, on these phones. How do you and, mean? Uh, they're living adult lives. They they've got fucking apps for everything. You know they're paying for shit through apps. They're they're oh, ordering oh, shit. Oh. They're they're seeing everything everyone else is seeing. They can pull up anything they want on. I mean, yeah. how many parents really govern their kids' phones? Really, probably mm. not. What percentage do you think that is? I'll bet you there's. Well, I don't really think you that know, they can actually very effectively. I think kids probably know how to bypass all that shit. So. Well, know. there's ways to to lock it up on the main account, but that's that's true. That's limited true. limited access to the internet, you know, and yeah. But still, what's the amount of parents that are just like, oh, yeah, little uh, Timmy, here's a uh, iPhone X10, add it to their plan, and the kid's 13, and you know, he's trying to access you know bank accounts on there. I mean, it's just. Well, you know, I've seen it both ways. I've seen uh, parents that have young children that don't want them anywhere near uh, those devices or the internet or social media or anything like that. And then I've seen other parents with kids the same age and they have their own iPads and they're doing whatever they want okay. on them, basically. So, Hang on. Uh, Turgut. Hang on. Calm down, Turgut. Turgut, that's not very good radio, Turgut. That's not very good radio, Turgut. poo -poos. That's what the Victrix has to say to Thurgood in order to, you know, I don't know. What, it riles him up. Makes things harder for him. He can't hear me, can he, Victrix? You got your ear pods in. He probably can, though, with his supersonic Thurgood Batman ears. What kind of dog is that? Uh, we got ourselves a cattle dog watchdog here. Mm -hmm. From cattle Australia? Dog watchdog. From Australian Australia. blue, right? He's an Australian blue healer. Uh, blue healer. He's uh, 
comes from the Blue Clan, from the dog named Blue. It's Thurgood. It's Blue's brother, without a doubt. Yeah, when Blue he, was another one, and very when talented. He, and when he goes to the door like that of the bunker and alarms me, I get uh, very alarmed, Rob. Yeah, it was alarming. So, well, you know, he's never uh, even done that. So right now I'm just uh yeah. I'm just on what? alert here. Ah. Ah. Uh, is there an alert scale? Is it like a alert level alert level 10 or alert alert level red or some why did they choose all those stupid colors uh, for that other one that Bush made up, like amber and all those other synonyms for basic colors, like orange and red? And didn't they have some other? They didn't call it red, did they? What was the scale even? It doesn't matter. Whatever. What what happened to that? What was it even? A terrorist uh, likelihood of killing you scale or something today? Well, are you talking about at the White House? No, uh, no, I'm talking about something that doesn't matter at all. Let's talk about what happened at the White House. Um, still, do we, so there has to be, uh, we already talked about that, didn't we? They didn't know, we, they got on White House property. We, do we know it was just one guy or was it multiple people? How did they get onto White House property? Do we have any idea what kind of weapon it was? Well, it was on doing? the street. It was on the street outside. Hmm. Interesting. So why so, did they pull the president out of the briefing room for that? Why couldn't they just handle well, it? shots were fired right but shots get fired in washington dc on a pretty regular basis well I would imagine. when you're when there's a president and he's doing a briefing and shots are heard right but right they, outside the front on... door you pull them in and you get them ready was it right outside the what? front door yes okay. in the street rob yeah but that's not right outside the front door that's like in the street this front door is a ways listen, away listen shots being fired outside of that of the white house is not all right all right something okay, that yeah. you just keep doing your press conference i mean i guess you're right now once they handled the situation he came right back out and finished yeah yeah i guess they just had to uh i you know i guess uh, out of an abundance of caution I had to pull him out but uh uh, I guess I'm wrong. I suppose I just I just I just thought that you know that's probably a fairly regular occurrence in Washington D.C. as it is in most uh, metropolitan areas where uh, gun control laws are uh, far and uh, wide-reaching. You know because they don't work at all. They just actually cause more violence. Oh, I can't believe that there's these types of gun laws in these states where people can't have them. I mean, that's I would not yeah. live there. That well, is California a is law. That is a stupid you, place. What do you think about every all these billionaires and large money people leaving uh, places like New York and Los Angeles and getting the so fuck what out is of the what is the law in California for? I know that you have to you have to go before a judge. It depends on what county you're in, but it's it's generally a judge or a sheriff, and you have to make your case to them why you want to own a gun, right? And almost always they will deny you. Uh, I think this might be, this is either for ownership or concealed carry or both. Um, maybe it's just ownership. Concealed carry I, I, is probably almost impossible to get out there. I can't recall. It's been a while, but I know that you have to go before a judge and make your case about why you want your rights. And almost always they will not give it to you for saying you want it for self-defense. They'll deny you for that reason because they think that you're out to cause trouble so i don't know what a legit re you know maybe just you're an enthusiast or you like to, you want to go target shooting or something like that I, I swear i know people that have gone through this uh, 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 process out there and, and the way they describe it to me is just you know you don't have rights out in california you have privileges and allowances and uh, they can clearly just lock you in your homes when they want to if they see if they deem it necessary for whatever yeah the air is so fresh out there i can't believe they don't want everybody outside you know yeah it's it makes you nice wonder. yeah makes you wonder if they're really not concerned with everyone's health and welfare if it's something else well, going on you know i feel that you know like most of the stuff's happening in these democrat cities you almost have to believe that they're you know they're trying to uh slowly sack this quarterback you know and they're they're trying to keep people out of work 
Yeah. They're trying to cause total havoc and they want everybody to think it's Trump's fault. Well, these pe- everything's intentional that's happening. Just last night in Chicago, uh, certain neighborhoods destroyed tons of shopping centers. I heard the that. whole parking lots are trashed. Shopping centers destroyed uh, the Tesla dealership. I mean, oh really? Yeah. You know, no one. I wonder if Elon said anything about that. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, somebody probably privately owns the dealership. You know, right? I mean? But I bet he's. I'll see if I can pull pull up Elon's account on Twitter right now. Continue, continue, please, Victor. Um, so that's, that's that's you know. Trump... I just think it's it's pretty unbelievable that here we are. They're trying to ramp them up like these May thirtieth attacks. And that's what they are. They're attacks. They're terrorist attacks, homeland terrorist attacks, and uh, on our own soil from supposedly our own people here. I, I mean, if if you're gonna bust up your own Bells and Tesla dealerships and you know little mini marts and I mean it. it yeah, so what, are we doing? I, you know, what, what are they going to do? What do we do? What time is it? That's my question for everybody is what time is it? Um, uh, did you, did, did Elon Musk, uh, I don't know if this is a digital, it's hard to tell on my phone sometimes if this is a digital creation or not, this large cylindrical uh, vehicle. Um, I guess that describes basically all of them, but. Did he do something new? This has got to be an artist rendering. This big giant uh, grain tower, grain silo looking thing with the square nose on top of it and hovering here. You haven't, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you, Victor? It's the SN5. It's uh, I, this has to be some sort of. I haven't heard of this. You know, he put he, they launched uh, the uh, Elon uh, put astronauts uh, uh, up in space uh, just the other day and brought them back safely for the first time uh, with a private vehicle. First time in the history of uh, all humanity. Well, it's an interesting achievement, know. right? You need to yes, be able it is. Be a yes, human and absolutely. say that I did this for the first time in human history. Or... Absolutely. Yeah, he's yeah. doing a, a whole bunch of uh, breakthrough things and, uh, you know, landing the rockets back down on the pads, right? That was him. Was that yeah. SpaceX? Yeah, yeah. It was astonishing. Uh, I drove out there and saw that the first time it happened. Uh, and, uh, it was it was cheers on the ground for miles around it was it was astonishing to watch it was that was something that nasa had been dreaming of since the 60s and had been unable to do you know it's funny because most people can't make their beds but yeah we're landing uh, rockets (laughs) we're landing rockets yeah um do you think elon musk is a is a communist at heart or do you think that he's you think he's where do you think he's at in, in all this all this COVID? um you know i think he's uh that's a tough one i i think he's a independent uh right leaning with left leaning tendencies type of guy he's you know i i think he's really just I don't think he's had major political training or experience or knowledge. Well, I think I don't like people I think, who have. Yeah, I, I think like, he's you know. just. Uh, I think he's just been doing his thing. Yeah, but he. What is this thing that uh, that our audio engineer uh, keeps talking about with? Um, and so does Mister Anonymous. I think about him wanting to put something in your brain and turn you into a, like a Borg robot, a hybrid collective mind, and. What is that called? Neuralink or something? Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I, I think it's a Neuralink. I, you know, it's tough for me because let's take these headphones I'm wearing, you know, earphones I'm wearing, for instance, okay? Yeah, yep. Uh, Bluetooth technology headphones don't last long, especially if you are actually using them. Yeah, I if think I know where you're going with this. I think I know where Okay, you're going. and... This is my second pair in 30 days. I was lucky enough to get back to the, uh, I won't name the store, but the telephone store I bought them from Mm -hmm. uh, on the 30th day. And I got another pair because the other ones were acting up. 
I just have, I have not had any success with Bluetooth technology earbuds. They work great for a while. And no matter what, you know, all of them, the Beats, all of them, all of them, they all have issues. Unless you go hard wire, you're not going to get much use out of it unless you're barely using them. No sweat, no, can't drop them once. You, they don't last. They don't last at all. So how is a Neuralink going to last in your brain? I mean, what do you got to like go back? I think that's an excellent days? point. That's an, that's an excellent point. Well, they can't nail the headphones. I can tell you that they've, they have the concept. They work. Everybody's wearing them, but they don't last. Now the, the younger generation iPhone had uh, earbuds work. They last longer in my opinion. Yeah. With these pros, I'm getting a lot of feedback, all kinds of weird stuff with them. Now they're amazing noise canceling headphones. I will tell you that the iPad, the iPod Pros, Apple, what I, whatever the hell they are, the pros. Yeah. The Apples. The new ones. The, you could have a jet behind you, and they will cancel that noise, and you can still talk and have a conversation. It will sound like wind. Impressive. I will give them that. Yeah. And the sound is great. Like I said, it's just they don't last. It's kind of like Android phones type of technology. It's no good. Never. Oh, <laughs> I guess that's what I was going to say. I never had an Android. And I, I've i been through why. dozens and dozens of Android style phones. As soon as I went to iPhone, you get a phone, you have it till you get another one, you know, by way of trade in or just you've had it for a mm -hmm. long time. You don't go every 30 days or every three months, you know, there's, you know, what I noticed with the Microsoft stuff is, you know, the Android phones, bugs, things popping up saying, you, you, you mean like you got like nefarious, you got a virus, a software, got a virus. Yeah, virus, yeah, you know, I don't want to see that, you know, and, yeah. and with Apple, I've never seen one thing about any of that shit yeah and you know what i just don't i don't trust i, I think this is <laughs> tying back around to fauci and you know the gates melinda and uh yeah. bill but i don't just don't trust the microsoft technology neither do i and you shouldn't it's so you know it's all it's always been uh one of the uh unsung uh is it a coincidence with the viruses and that his software is a virus uh, bugged out uh, technology? That's a, it seems like all the viruses come from them. Yeah, they, it, and then they, it they want you does. to buy. Why don't we buy virus protection for Apple? I don't think you. Can. It doesn't. It's, it doesn't need it. It does. It's, it's the way it the operating exist. system is written. Yeah. It's the, well. It's the way. Okay. The, so when you buy Microsoft, expect Microsoft expect viruses. Bugs. Yeah, yes. Viruses expect all kinds from, of problems. So expect the virus from Bill Gates. I would say yes. I'd have to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Expect viruses from Bill Gates and his computers. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. It's, so basically, it's a fact. It's the truth. So basically, we have viruses out of his Wuhan lab, <laughs> and now, <laughs> since the beginning of his computer programs, uh, self-inflicted viruses, and now that has led up to the real vi a real virus out of his own his Wuhan. Little yeah. dream factory that him and some other wackos yeah. put together, ostensibly. So what is going on here? He he's he's uploaded so many viruses. Uh, is he trying to? What are they trying to do? Are they trying to like get a real virus through the the waves of the technology here and hit us all through the the tablets and everything? Is that? You, you mean, know, what are they doing? Well, I are they trying that, to literally put a virus through? You know? I mean, like reach out of your out of your screen and yes. like grab your face yes. like poltergeist or something? Well, not grab you, but just hit you with it. I, I don't know, but you know, if we're stepping up into the five G, it's yeah. just getting more well, what and about, more I don't, intense. What about that though? That you mean like the whole that's going to be part of Elon controlling your brain with with the five G? Well, that's or, just another. 
you know, that's, I'm just saying, Elon's just another uh, scientist guy. Yeah, he's just trying to invent the craziest sh- stuff ever. I mean, Yeah, I don't think there's a problem with 5G, though. I mean, I'm on board with some things, and then I think that there's just things that just are... are well, there you know, comes a point where maybe it is too, you know, maybe it's unsafe what they're putting, you know, I'm not the saying theory. that it couldn't be are, harm, what you know, we, if you, are 5G's we already the, everywhere, okay, though. Okay, okay, so you could say, technically speaking, if you think about it, I think I know what the Matrix is. I think I figured it oh, out. Well, me too. All of a sudden. <laughs> okay. Uh, in a, this conversation. Yeah, I'm. I'm interested. Tell me about it. It's legit, okay? It just dawned on me right outside my, you know, I'm thinking about the front of my house during the daytime or nighttime. You can't see this information and all these waves and microwaves flying around, right? Mm -hmm. You can't, Mm -hmm. but it's there. Mm -hmm. I mean, what we're doing right now, uh, right now is coming into my home. You and me have more stuff going on that you can't see like just from from my bunker to yours Mm -hmm. across town Mm -hmm. there are waves and frequencies and blocks and tunnels that's the matrix i think i figured out what the matrix really is is what we can't see that neo saw and it's legit it's not just it's the Wi-Fi. It's not the actual. I think the movie takes you into the cable of the Ethernet, whereas mm. it's really a Wi-Fi. It's real. It's a real yeah. matrix. Well, you know, this movie was made in two thousand, so you know there. Well, movie. that's. Well, was there? There was Wi-Fi then, or no? Well, sure, but everything was, was there. It wasn't strong. Mm, everything sucked. But what I'm telling you is you could compare it to Wi-Fi because you can't see it. But if you could, it would look exactly what Neo saw that day with the men down the hall. He Mm -hmm. saw all the waves of the frequencies and everything, and he was able to – they were part of it. Yeah. They were part of it. Yeah. You know, so, you know, somehow it all linked up with an Ethernet cable. (laughs) <laughs> but uh that's my interpretation of the current i mean there is an actual matrix going on and it's 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 wi-fi it's it's whatever you can't see that if you could it would look like that scene a bunch yeah. of tunnels of crazy everything it would look like that just like what keanu reeves was seeing and yeah. that's actually happening outside your front door um you know, it's true. If you could actually see it, that's what it would be. So it's kind of crazy. So, you know, and Bill Gates with his force-fed, man-made viruses that he puts into his own software. I mean, day one, you get one of these phones, boom, little virus thing pops up. Oh, your yeah. phone's being An attacked. Android, if you have an yeah, Android. Your, your, your phone's being attacked. It's like, okay by yeah. who this is all <laughs> this is all from the phone company it's not even the the your internet connection from the company it's the phone yeah. and your microsoft everything that you're linked into and your account and i used to have a guy uh that i worked with uh and we had to do microsoft he's like now nah, we got to do microsoft and some shitty computer like a HP or something. Mm-hmm. He's like, that's how, how businesses do it. I'm like, uh, mm-hmm. okay. Like, <laughs> he spent more time on the phone with the virus, the Microsoft virus people. Yeah. Trying to fix the viruses on the guy. I mean, I told him, I said, take that computer and throw it in the garbage. That's what <laughs> it's good for. <laughs> I yeah. mean, what a waste of time. Bill Gates, can we trust him? Is the question. Oh, pff, can we trust no. him after what Why? we just Why would you? talked about? After what you? I just said, can we trust him? There's Why? no way. The king, he's the king of viruses. He's yeah. the king. He you is know what? the You're king. Right. He, he's the one. And and it's and it's led up to the big 
immaculation uh, for Bill and uh, Melinda. Okay, Melinda. What, yeah. what's, who is Fauci's Melinda? in there too? Haven't they been hanging out forever? There, he's of like, of course, he's, but well, you know what? Fauci seems like he'll walk wherever they tell him to walk. And Fauci do what seems they like say. an evil rat, like a literal like I, a rodent. I don't know. Right now, I don't know what to think of Fauci. But uh, he, he is like hanging out mouse. with Gates. You can't trust Gates. This this look. I don't think you can trust any of them. I think what they're having troubles calling it is an outbreak. It's the same as the movie Outbreak. A lab yeah. was yeah. fucking around with stuff they shouldn't have been. And it, look, it's either an outbreak or it's an intentional outbreak. There's only two. Yeah, but what options. outbreak though? The coronavirus outbreak. Yeah, but it got out of the lab. Yeah, yeah, but where? In Wuhan. Yeah, but I thought, okay, then who cares? Well, Rob, apparently, uh, countries care because they have it. So it's so, but where? It is out there. Yeah, but where? Well, you know, that's a good question. Um, that's why I asked. I thought it was a good question. I thought it was a good one. That's why it's, I asked. I know our hospital. I, I know we're in an el- elderly area. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, You'd pretty, think it would be around here so. somewhere. We are somebody in the would know somebody. The retirement capital of the world. Yeah, they call this place with, Wrinklewood. Yeah, with people coming in from all over the world. Uh huh. And I mean, our hospitals around here are pretty uh, quiet, right? Compared to uh, yeah, but empty. I mean, empty. Empty. Basically empty. empty. Yeah, I, I know lots of people in all the hospitals around here. I mean, at least one in every hospital around here. There ain't nothing going on. You know, some people are, are still, I know, I know nurses that work places at various hospitals that still just spout all kinds of propaganda. And when they tell you how scary it is and you actually try to get details about it from them, they, you know, they tell you all the things that, that we already know that uh, people who are, are coming in and, and dying and having real problems with this are people who are already old and compromised and already on oxygen and things like that and already taking 55 prescription pills a day. But it nope. exists. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, the cold virus. Yes. Yes. One of these thousands of cold viruses on planet Earth does exist. Yes. I mean, they've pretty much counted the flu completely out. I mean, is it just people dying from the flu? Look, imagine if, if nobody ever – okay, so we all know – I think you and I both know some people, uh, at least on Facebook personally, that have been affected by this, and uh, they've, either, they've either, either had it or their families had it, and they've either recovered or they had a difficult recovery or uh, you know, maybe, maybe one of their elderly family members even passed away, right? You, you and I both know uh, – Anybody like this? I know. I I, I know. I know. Right one. now, people that I directly know, uh, a girl in she's from Florida, mm-hmm. but she lives in Colorado. Mm-hmm. She lives in Avon Avon Park, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Um, our our music uh, connection over in Orlando. Mm-hmm. I won't mention names, but he's a Hawaiian guy, mm-hmm. and he plays the drums. Um, and oh, then, and then, uh, Mr. Anonymous's contact. And I all these I people. Four, I have four people that I, th- you know, a lot, two of the four are through somebody, through somebody. They've heard of somebody, you know what I mean? They're mm-hmm. distant. They're very, everything's distant. It's not, yeah. Yeah. you know, naturally. So, um, or unnaturally, depending on what you're expecting. You know, but most of these people, like they said, it's just a cold or it was just for a few hours or it was for right, a right, day. Right. It was a scratchy throat. So, you know, it, imagine if this was never on TV and all these things still happened, but it was not reported on TV. All these people on Facebook wouldn't also be repeating it. Even if they went to the look, even if their whole family got sick, even if they lost a loved one, they would have said, you know, they would have come on Facebook. You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those of you who have lost people, but you would have come on Facebook or something and it just would have been normal. It would have been like grandmother got sick, you know, and she couldn't handle it. She was already compromised and she passed away in the hospital last night. And we're, there's going to be a memorial service for her on Saturday. And that's the way it would be, ladies and gentlemen. There's no fucking, 
Where, when was the last time you saw a funeral procession? Where is the danger? Where is this virus, the likes of which humanity has never seen? Because I haven't seen it. So, you know, it would be, it would be normal is what I'm saying. It, life, it would just be like there's not enough people to cause a panic unless the TV is causing people to panic. If there were nothing, none of this on TV, you and I would know nothing about this. You know, you and I might recall for one reason or another, but n not because it was important, not because it was newsworthy, that some, some family, some, uh, you know, somebody that we knew might have had a cold last year or a couple months, or maybe you and I might remember that, that I, you know, I had a cold or you, maybe you caught something that was going around as things do. And that, it, would just, it would just be fucking life. There's no fucking danger anywhere, anywhere. I'm sure, I am sure there are a, a, a shit ton of different, viruses bugs you can get you know that are yeah. out there this you know and they all hit you hard i mean everybody's been hit hard with different flus that put you down and you know it's just another one of those i mean yeah, it's I amazing people have been scared into being afraid of something that's totally normal everybody has had an awful awful sickness that has laid them up on the couch or in a bed for a week and they've all had you know maybe maybe they felt shitty for a month who cares people it's life it's life i'll tell you what how about when andrew cuomo and his brother got on cnn together you know before and, this uh, i didn't know that they were brothers i didn't know well, it was just funny because it's like a big drama series and Andrew Cuomo's kind of taking you through like, you know, he, he's on TV with his brother yep. and he looks perfectly fine for a week and he's on there every day checking in going, oh, it's, you got to get past the, the shakes and oh, I'm feeling it's Dr. Like, Cuomo. Well, you're not. You're definitely not dealing with it right now, Cuomo, because you're on TV with your brother playing Patty Cake. Oh, he had it. He supposedly had it? Yeah, and he would check in with updates. And, and he's fine, though, right? He's totally fine? He was totally fine when he had it because when he would check in, he looked totally fine. Yeah. It was a big drama series. I call it Cuomo TV uh, during the pandemic. It's when the Cuomos put on their best uh, acting Basically. Yeah, maybe I should they watch act. that more often. It I mean, they act as it is. Yeah, it, you might want to dig some of it up, man, and uh, have yeah, yourself. Yeah, I mean, I caught a little laugh. bit. I mean, I did, gosh, I didn't even know that they were brothers before this. It seems like such a conflict of interest having his brother on the show. Who's? How do people just not see? How how does this just not smell fishy to everyone? Oh, it smells fishy. Believe it. It's, yeah. the, the, there's there's so much fishy stuff going on with the bomb and Beirut. Um, and, what uh, happened with our, that? We don't, we're running out of time to talk about that. But my gosh, the, what, I, I'm I I think that missile was real. Okay, is there anything more else coming out about that? Because I haven't honestly, I haven't had a chance to review anything. I know everyone's saying it's a fake, and everyone's all, well, I know everyone thinks I would still be crazy. For saying it's real, You're talking that, about the infrared video. That that's yes, yes, yes. That, 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 I don't. I, I have not had time to examine. I know people are saying it's just an infrared. I know. I know it's on other people's pages, and it wasn't taken down. Just on your page, for some reason. Facebook's like been targeting you hard. Seen. Oh They've yeah, been targeting you pretty hardcore. It is a pretty serious uh, video. I mean, it's it seems accurate, but I don't. You know. <sighs> Well, what I'd like to Here's do what, is... You want to know what I don't get? What's that? I don't get how they confirm so fast that there's only 70 dead. Uh, they, they put that out, and I want to know how Dude, because you nothing confirm. on TV is real. Nothing. I wish people... I mean, how do you confirm when you can physically see entire skyscrapers getting blown to dust? How the friggin' heck... Does anyone know who the hell was in there and who wasn't? Within I think that's what you call propaganda. That's what you call yeah. that's you just you, you know numbers do things to 3000 injured? Who the hell took that count in a day? Yeah. 3000 injured. I mean, how do you know it was 100 that died? This was a nuclear blast almost. I it think it might have been destroyed still everything wanna... around it. It destroyed yeah. everything around it. it. There were cars driving. 
Mm -hmm. there were cars driving that uh you know that that got disintegrated like who were those people it was incredible yeah i i I still now you were talking about the fertilizer not being compressed. Talk, well, let me that hear well, that you wasn't on that. me saying that, but that's uh that's it's just it's that was clearly a uh, a weapon that was clearly some kind of munition. Uh the flashpoint it was so it was everything was so tight and everything um uh originated from a a single uh single point it's easy to see and the way the uh shock wave developed the the, the uniformity of it the uh towering uh mushroom yeah, because cloud. if the now look if the fertilizer caught fire right it seemed like the speed at which it went to this was a this was a manufactured weapon well i will say the fire that was uh going you could see the fire intensifying uh whatever was in there was starting to glow okay so it was intensifying now is that the point where it reached the fertilizer and then boom i'm now, telling you no it? it wasn't for there was not that it, it was too complicated yeah, it just it, doesn't it seems like whatever if the fertilizer was gonna it go, would have been messy it, it would have been dirty it would have been a fucking it would have been a just a, 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 a just a, a it would have been like it would have like been a like poof yeah a it would just bomb, would have been a fire bomb like a firework and it would have kept firework. exactly it would have been gone it would have been everywhere like a fountain like a fountain yes, like yes, a big more, fountain. Mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. more like, like that. a fountain not yes, like this... an m80 where it's a, a designated tightly packed look i'm uh, willing to bet almost charge. anything right now that that missile is real that missile ends up being real it was too perfect god damn it it was too Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to pull all that, all that up sometime before it becomes irrelevant and, and look at this stuff on my, on my giant 27-inch monitors and really see if I can Well, uh, I just it. think the, uh, you know, them putting out, you know, their estimated death toll so fast, it just makes you wonder, you know. Everything better be they, making everybody wonder well, right now. And I'll tell, well, I'll tell you what. There's no way only 70 people died. I don't know how if it was 100, 70, whatever they call well, it. Well, like but, you said, they can't know. There's no how can they fucking possibly know? Well, why even put a count up that's fake? Because that because you don't what know they're trying that, to do of is of course 3,000 people are injured. The whole fucking city got injured yeah. or killed. One of the two yeah. people holding the cameras died. Their cell phone cameras from a distance. Yeah, they dropped the camera, it fell down. That was it. That was a huge. That was a weapon, man. You can't. The, the, the building damage was 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 uh, uh, recorded uh, 15 miles away. They say you're not going to do that with a warehouse of fertilizer. I'm sorry, it's not going to burn that rapidly uh, or detonate that rapidly. The, see, the key, the w- w- the reason why this is a munition is because the speed at which it detonated and I the locality see it burning. Of it. I could see the the you know. Oh, there was definitely look. There were lots of weapons down there. There were munitions popping off all beforehand. But I'm telling you, that last thing, that big explosion, was a one thing. It was a bomb. It was either a bomb in there. Look, there, there, there's several possibilities. Okay, the but fire not, could have easily been the uh, cover. You yeah, know, that's what I'm thinking. This fire, and then just boom, it was. They're just saying it was the fertilizer. That's my line of thinking from the beginning. Yeah, you know, and that's what it. The fertilizer. Uh, kind of caused the red smoke. It seems. That's been uh, a while since I've taken a chemistry class. I don't remember what burns what, but that's easy to. I find don't remember out. seeing very many buildings or towers on fire or anything that. It, it looked like clay in the sky. I mean, yeah. it whatever it was was pretty nasty. Now they're also saying that the the air, there is disgusting from that. You know, oh, I'm sure. And the fallout. I Without mean, a doubt, that's just fallen on everybody. See, I wonder if anyone is it. Uh, somebody has to have a Geiger counter over there to take a, a radiation um, reading. See if it, there is any kind of. Uh, I don't would... think it was. It was radiation. This was like you said, just a charge. Well, whatever. It was, it was, it, uh, uh, <laughs> a charge must have, you know, a missile or something. I'm talking. This yeah. was more of an. A clean explosion. It was yes, that's clean. that's why it wasn't a warehouse of fertilizer because it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, and a mess. it wasn't a, a nuclear bomb because. But I nu- think it could have been a small one. I'm waiting back to hear from a I nuclear think it could physicist be similar, about this. Similar technology, but a nuclear bomb. There's heat involved. It would have set the whole city on fire, dude. Dude, this dude, was a clean it's... charge, and it went boom, and it was it was more shock wave than anything. Uh, you know the explosion itself 
must have been a half, maybe what, an eighth of a mile, the actual crater, half a mile. The actual. I, I, this, this had to be, look, there are, you, you can't, the, uh, this is something that you can, you can calculate what, what it must have been uh, based on the damage. Um, these are all things I want to do. I got to find the, and these are not too difficult to do either, but I'm telling well, you. I'll tell you what, why don't we um, close out the show? Let's yeah, bring done. Twigs. You know, we got Twigs coming back in later in the week. He's on vacation with his daughter right now. Yep. They're camping. Um, Having let's a good old let him American. finish his vacation now. Let's meet back up with him at the studios here. Um, and we'll get, we'll, we'll just touch base. We'll, we're going to dig back into this explosion let's let's get some more information let's yeah. get twigs on here and uh i'm out of here stay on your toes right now is not a good time to be trusting people out there watch your back i'm the victrix i'm out this is werv we'll be back goodbye <laughs>